Overnight, two people are rescued after a small plane flies right into power lines in Montgomery County. That crash knocking out power to tens of thousands of people, even causing public schools in the county to close for the day today. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs is live near the scene this morning in Gaithersburg. So, Abby, what's going on out there this morning? Well, crews have been working on and off all morning through the night to remove the plane from the power lines and then stabilize the tower so that they're able to restring and reconnect those power lines. Now, this crash happening Sunday at around 530, a small plane crashed into the power line in Montgomery County, leaving 85,000 people without power. The two passengers were not able to be rescued until midnight, hours after the crash, and they have serious injuries related to hypothermia and the impact of the crash itself. Maryland State Police identified the pilot as 65 year old Patrick Merkel from DC and the passenger as 66 year old Jan Williams from Louisiana. Now after their rescue, Pepco was able to restore power to everyone impacted and the plane was removed. Now the focus turns to repairs. They have to reconnect some power lines, which will probably take a few days, I would imagine. Um, there's some damage there to the tower that would take a couple of days, if not a couple of weeks. Montgomery County schools canceled classes because of the incident and the FAA and Maryland State Police are in, um, assisting with the investigation into the cause of the crash. We are live in Gaithersburg. Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. All right, Abby.